Martinez, California. Are you there? Yes, I am. Hey, your name? Robert. Hi, Robert. How you doing today? Good, Andrew. I spoke with you last week, and I was being respectful, not calling in within 30 days, but you mentioned you had no callers, so hopefully I'm not uh, disrespecting. That's fine. So what, what do you want to talk about? Okay, Andrew, um, I haven't been eating meat for three years. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've probably had a handful of meat in the last three years, mm-hmm. and you mentioned protein. And I've been uh, on that journey to get more protein, and I've been asking, questioning myself, uh, should I start eating meat again? Okay. It's all about and protein. What kind of meat? So well, it's not necessarily about meat. What protein su- uh, substitutes have you used? Uh, eggs. That's no, nowhere and, near. It's nowhere near the amount of protein you need. It's like seven grams of protein, and you probably are only processing one gram of each egg right now because you haven't eaten so much meat. Okay. So there is a protein powder out there called Sun Warrior Warrior Blend, okay? and it's okay. twenty grams of all natural vegan vegan protein in it in every scoop. Awesome. So that is one way. My advice for you is to get 40 grams of protein every day for 20 to 30 days and then decide if you want to go into meat. If you are going to go into meat because it's a choice that there's something in the process of consuming meat that does have a spiritual fulfillment to you, okay? Try fish one day. You know, just set aside. Thursdays is my, uh, I'm allowing myself to be a no shame, blame, guilt of my process. I'm going to have fish, okay? Or the next Thursday, you're going to have prime rib, the perfect prime rib, one you haven't, you've been slightly consciously drooling about in the background. Or a crab or something else that you want to have, you want to enjoy, that you may want to have friends and family with who get to see you eat meat for a little bit. Joke with them, play with them, truly enjoy the meal, and the meal's not a chore. And I think this is why you finding yourself challenged, that the meal is now a chore. Uh, correct, I do. And it can't be a chore. It's got to have our love, joy, and prayer behind it. So we want to eat it and process it and do something with it. That is why so many people in the vegetarian thing, area fail, not because of the food, because it became a chore. There wasn't joy behind it. It's got to have the joy. So what does it yes. really take for you to get joy behind your food again? Oh, for me, uh... You know, not having it be a chore, uh, just to love to love my body and want to nourish my body and take that grand leap of uh, dedication to my body. Okay. So what has been your specialty while you have been n- not eating meat? What types of foods have you been making for yourself? Mm-hmm. Well, the thing is, is I have recently moved back with my mother um, and being on my own, I have uh, was buying a lot of Earthship products and powder, maca, yeah. um, their uh, rice protein, and making uh, banana shakes, banana peanut butter, cacao, mm-hmm. maca, rice protein. I was making some awesome shakes, and I was just loving myself. And now that I'm back at my mother's, I guess I'm not loving myself. I'm in, um, I, I slid backwards, I'm eating her foods. Uh, processed foods and, and nature. I don't feel comfortable for some reason to bust out my blender and all my bags and mess up her kitchen. So I've taken a back seat, but I do know uh, a bunch of great um, recipes for myself. Um, why don't uh, you find a way? Why don't you find a way that you can cook with your mother? You're there. And, and just be br- brutally authentic, honest with her. Mom, I love your cooking, but let's try using different ingredients. There is alchemy within cooking that you, you well know in your shakes. There has got to be something yes. that you can create that is in the organic process that you and your mother could have a fun experience on that can become part of your regular process. 
your creation between her, between the two of you. Okay. Okay. There are some incredible chef alchemists out there. Maybe starting to find one of those as an alchemical chef teacher. Maybe go to a, a chef class together. They're everywhere, all over the country. 